Plaintiff Lisa Ulacki says two weeks after she started dating the defendant, she moved in with him. But in retrospect, she wishes he had been a one night stand. Lisa claims after they moved in together, she realized that he was clingy and the only thing he could do alone was sleep. And she's suing him for a loan and stolen property. Defendant Christopher Vickery says when he met Lisa in a bar, he should have left her there. Christopher claims Lisa is a 30 year old kid who only wants to drink, party and do drugs. And he believes she's only suing because she's jealous of Christopher's new girlfriend. Christopher's countersuing her for harassment. Start with you. It all started in the first week of December. I had just ended a 13 year relationship. My divorce was final. I met the defendant at a bar. We hit it off. We had a great night, actually. I ended up going home with him that night. Your Honor, it should have just ended as a one night stand. I would have been way better off. <laughs> Instead, I gave him a chance and throughout the next two weeks, we spent all kinds of time together. Then after two weeks, he asked me to move in. Against my better judgment, I did. After the first couple of days of me living there, I realized that this man is so clingy. Like he cannot do anything alone except sleep, which he does 87% of his life. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like I'm all about like living life and he's all about sleeping. So, I, um, after I moved in, he wanted me to go to work with him after I'm already working a full-time job myself. You want me to hang out with you at work all night? Then I tried to go to the movies with a friend one night, Your Honor. He acted like he was sleeping and told me, told me to go. And then was like, blew me up from five minutes after I walked out the door, begging me to come home. Was it a fella? Huh? No, really? it was not. Oh, okay. No, absolutely not. Well, no, because when I'm serious about somebody, I'm serious about somebody. I'm not the cheater. Let me allow him to give some background, sir. Well, Your Honor, I met Lisa in December. Uh, I met her at a bar, like she said. Uh, when I met her at a bar, I should have left her there. <laughs> Basically, you know, uh, I, I, I did everything for her. I bought all her cigarettes. I, I paid all the bills. Your Honor, I, I did I, Your Honor, Your Honor, I work two jobs. He doesn't hey, take care of nothing. The man made a tremendous sacrifice to be with oh, you. Oh, it is Yeah. <laughs> tremendous sacrifice. You know She's a housekeeper. Go ahead. I went two son. jobs. You never had no money when you was with me. Two jobs, boo. I took care of you. Go ahead. So son. basically, Lisa is a 30 year old kid. That's bottom line. All she wants to do is drink, party, do drugs. Me, I, I, I want to take care of my kid. I want to take care of my family. <laughs> Simple as that. And sleep. <laughs> That's what she says. I wanted to get your response. No, it, I work all the time. I mean, I work a lot. So I don't get what she's talking about and sleep. Yeah, yeah if right. I work 16 hours, I'm sure I want to go home and go to sleep. Good point. You're right. And uh, she even called my, or she Facebooked my ex-wife, which I just got custody of my child. You know, uh, going to Facebook her last week and say uh, that I'm on drugs and that all I do is party and this and that. But yeah, she just told the court all I do is sleep. I would never say Well, that's what drugs, a lot of them do make you go to sleep. There you go. There you go. Good point. You don't do drugs no, or any no, sort of no, narcotics? Sir. No, sir. And no she did, ma'am, did you? I did not. I would never say that he did drugs because I've never witnessed him do drugs. I have no reason to falsify any information about him when I have a stack of things that he really does do wrong. Now, before we get to the loan and the property, how'd you, how'd you all break up? Why? Uh, basically, she, she's crazy. And uh, that's In the best way, way to put it. She's crazy. Tell me what she does. Uh, last week, let's put that. She comes into my parents' bar. And she's, uh, she comes in there and she's playing old sad, sappy love, you know, love music. And she's going to go. <sighs> she, she miss you. She's going to come by me. Yeah, I miss you. Come home with me. Just have sex with me tonight. This and that. <laughs> and I'm like, leave me alone. Can't you just leave me alone? Your Honor. Can I interject? Did you come there and do well, that? how it really happened was I was already at the bar. He then entered the bar. I said hello. He said hello. I asked him, was there anything that he had to say? He said no. The problem is that the woman he was with at the bar left with me. And then all of a sudden, bam, the countersuit with the harassment came short the next day after the chick that was all over him at the bar left with me. That sounds like you were you were sad. You just got dissed. That's what that was. That's some hater stuff right there. I'm just saying. 
Your Honor, none of this happened until when I got a new girlfriend. This is when anything she has ever... She said she took your girlfriend. No. <laughs> There's no, nothing no, no, like Honor, that. She's making this Your stuff. Honor, the girlfriend that he has, he had, stuff. apparently, Probably. while we were still together. Tell me about the loan and the property. Um, the 18th of December, it was a week before Christmas, he asked me to borrow $400. He was gonna purchase an iPhone. I had seen him do it before where he purchases an iPhone for $400 and he'll sell it on Craigslist for $600. Quick come up, that's all he's about is a quick come up. So, no problem, as long as I receive that $400 tomorrow. I'll borrow it to you till tomorrow. I only had the $400, Your Honor, because the week before Has that, he, he sold you? my car. Absolutely not. What not does he say when you ask him for your money? Um, what was he saying? Well, in the, the next day, he said, um, it's on back order for seven to 10 days. Then that seven to 10 turned into another seven to 10. That turned into another seven to 10. Then it became, I will give it back to you out of my tax check which he was supposed to receive on Valentine's Day, Your Honor. No. Instead, what I got for Valentine's Day was to pick him up on the side of the road out of gas while he was on his way to the dollar store to purchase my Valentine's Day present on his food stamp card. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sad. I'm just saying. Is that true, sir? No letter. Just saying. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> that is definitely no. the truth. She's and my a, witness can testify to queen. that because she was on the phone with me the you entire time. She's a time. drama queen. Drama queen. That's all she. That, that's that's she's crazy, truth. Your Honor. I mean, look, look what I had Your to do. Your witness was there. Come on up. She man. was there. I was on the phone with her actually the entire time on Valentine's State Day. State your when name. When he found out he wasn't getting his money and everything. My name is Demaris. What can you tell me about this? She's not a drama queen. She's has she's a good-hearted person. I tell you, well, coming out of a, a long marriage, she didn't know what this, the game was about. I said, you haven't been in it since you were a 16-year-old. This was a rebound gone wrong. Since the beginning of the relationship, I told her he was a scam artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, he sounds like a scam artist, everything he does. You know, she moved into it too quick, and it's a lesson learned for her. We learn from our mistakes. You got to fall down to get back up, so. Man, you got two good talkers against you today. <laughs> <laughs> I was already at the bar. He then entered the bar. I asked him, was there anything that he had to say? He said, no. The problem is that the woman he was with at the bar left with me. Your Honor, none of this happened until when I got a new girlfriend. This is when anything she has ever... She said she took your girlfriend. No. <laughs> Plaintiff Lisa Ulacki says two weeks after she started dating the defendant, she moved in with him. And he claims Lisa is nothing but a 30-year-old child who only wants to drink and do drugs. Stolen property, what property has he stolen from I you? I had received a go-kart. It was the only thing I received out of my divorce. I brought it to his house so that he could fix it. I was going to have it fixed. It was not in running condition. I was going to have it fixed and give it to my son, okay? He put it in his shed. I filed a police report because it came up missing. I went All to right. work, I was at work for 10 hours, I came home and he was in a rush to leave for pizza. We were gone for 15 minutes, we came back and my go-kart was gone. It's a 500 pound go-kart. No one just walks away with it in 15 minutes. But what evidence or what makes you believe he did? I have a Facebook message from a friend okay. that says... Let me hear from him first and then we can get back to your evidence. Sure. Tell me about the loan and the property, sir. Your Honor, the she calls it a loan, it wasn't a loan. She had, she had a car that was breaking down. She said, sell my car for me, you know, and uh, I'll give you half of it. It's Absolutely Christmas time, not. everything like that. Ab why would so I? No. I sold it for eight her. She got the four. She was Ooh. happy as could be. We ain't heard nothing about this till I got a new girlfriend. <laughs> That's the only time we're going to get some. Ma'am, when was the last time you mentioned this to um, me? I have mentioned it at least once a week. When did for you the first last... talk to him or text him with a, a sense of urgency? I have repeatedly. That's why. Since no. when, though? When? I, Beginning since when? the first day he borrowed the when money. When was that? The 18th of December. All right. And so 18th of December, you began then. asking for your money. Correct. All right. April yeah. 8th, Your Honor. April 8th was the last time I asked him for my money, Your Honor. And I got What's the, the earliest message? date you have? April 8th. She's never asked about it until I got a new girlfriend. When did you get your girlfriend? Was it April 7th? Around that April area? 1st. <laughs> <laughs> and the April next 1st, day, she, Your Honor. And the it next was April 1st. No, it was, it was and the next day, she started asking for her money. It was April 1st. It was April 1st. He's stumbling. No, no. April 1st, she was asking for her money. What'd you tell her, April Fools? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was when I got the girlfriend. It All right, and what evidence do you have that um, 
she right. was sending you. Here's that one. And ma'am, do you have anything prior to April 1st that you can show not. me? I do not. I have actually repeatedly asked him for the money, and that's why he told me you, seven to ten days. You wanted to show me something. What is he, it you wanted to show the me? The police report from the go-kart getting stolen mm -hmm. and this Facebook message that says that he said he was so proud because he got what, my go-kart for free. All right, what do you know about the go-kart, sir? Your, Your Honor, we went out to <clears throat> we went to go get something to eat. When we come back, it was it, we noticed it gone. There was tire tracks all the way back to it. So you don't know what happened to it? No. Like I said, she was living with me. It was in the shed. Why am I responsible for it? Your counterclaim, $800 for harassment, is for what? Your Honor, uh, that, that is because she uh, she's calling me every night. She's calling me all hours of the night, begging for me to come over. I miss you, this and that. She Facebooked my ex-wife. When is the last time she called you and asked you to come over because she missed you? Three days ago. That's a lie. Your Honor, I have not contacted oh, him except did. April 7th when and I text messaged him and asked him if he could please give me my money, my Opal, and my... That my... night at the bar, you didn't call me 15 times? No. You know, you didn't even call me while you was at the bar, which I have the, the messages where she's uh, on there bragging about everything. Bragging about what? <laughs> Taking the girl that was dry humping you? By how you called, <laughs> by how you called up to the bar and everything? I'm gonna get my money. Yep. This is Judge Mathis. Where you? What are you talking about, sir? Oh, sir, say any of what you said. Yeah. Because you read what you're talking about where she was honestly, asking you to come see her. Or the only all... thing he's ever told me that was the truth was his name is Christopher Vickery. <laughs> <laughs> you have the harassment you're suing her for. You want to read the things that you consider harassing. Uh, it says, no, this POS is countersuing me for harassment, LMFL, because I was at the bar last night and he showed up and got mad because this girl was all over and left with me, hater. And then, so it's exactly what I said. And then it goes on. <laughs> Thank you for that's proving what, my case, that's baby. That's what you said earlier. <laughs> this is her, just, I'm just trying to show you that, that she's harassing me. She's putting this stuff on her Facebook, making it up, thinking that she's cool and this and that, but she's not. It, it, it's ridiculous. Right here, he begged that girl to go home with him in order to leave with me. I may have called the bar and rubbed it in, asked him if his girlfriend knew where he was. Okay, she did call the bar and ask for me. No, and I said, actually why said... don't you come across the street with me? Come across the street, we'll go back to your house. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. Well, that's what she actually said. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> I Why? need you to read that again. Right. No, no. This is her trying to right. talk to her friends on Facebook. Like, like she's lying Nothing in the case that she wanted you back, sir. That's Never, my point. Never, Your Honor. One of your uh, critical... Well, I got some text messages if you He's want to actually There you like... go. Something to back up your <laughs> statements. You keep them under woman wants you back. She's suing you today. <laughs> Unless she's come here to see you. Is that your point? This is her just... I'm just trying to show you that, that she's harassing me. She's putting this stuff on her Facebook, making it up, thinking that she's cool and this and that, but she's not. I got some text messages if you He's want to. Actually there like... you go. Something to back up your <laughs> statements. You keep them under woman wants you back. She's suing you today. Plaintiff Lisa Ulacki says two weeks after she started dating the defendant, she moved in with him. And he claims Lisa is nothing but a 30-year-old child who only wants to drink and do drugs. Plaintiff, the woman you say you love to be by your side, that's cool. At least I hate you. I wish I never met you, P. Okay, so you want to just pay me my money, or should I go ahead and file these papers and take you to court? Why don't you respond to any of this, sir? Because she's she's just horrible. That's, no, that's the first time heard about her. <laughs> If I respond, <laughs> I don't get a word in with her. That's that, that's why I just... It's a, I don't owe you. I don't. That's all you had to say. Well, you I give understand. me three pages of text messages where she's harassing you about her money, if you want to use that term, but you never say, I don't owe you. I never answered her back at all. That just shows you how crazy she is. No. It, it, until, <laughs> like I said, that's showing you that once I got a girlfriend, this money came out. I never even answered her back. No, nothing. this was before so April crazy. 1st, sir. She is crazy. The, these messages and were I bet in she'll March. Call me tonight when March. Come these over. messages were in March. You gonna call them tonight? Absolutely not. Well, if she does, she's gonna have plenty of money to spend on you. Cause... <laughs> $800 is her judgment. I believe her. I believe her. She also had an opal stone that I would like returned. Okay. 
please. You have it with you? That's what she wants, $200. Oh, you have your tux for... on? I believe you want to get married. <laughs> I can marry you guys, you know that. I'm good. Uh -huh. I'm good. I just got a divorce, Your Honor. I'm good on that. This is her stone, and she says it's worth two hundred dollars. That the jeweler told me you ten give cents. Give it back to her. Then you see, he went to the jeweler to see how much it is. Quick, yeah, he already tried to come up. When he was, pawn, when he was pawning that go court. kart. Quick, come Quick. up. Yours hey, dismissed. Judgment for the plaintiff. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Your girlfriend's at tell that to run. 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 Run.